Well, praise God. Welcome again, Pastor Jeff. Another Daily Word, capital W. Matthew 11. Powerful stuff. Please put your name here, wherever you can. Let it speak to you. Read this in other translations. You can go to BibleGateway.com. Probably 30 different translations in English. But you can read this. This is the New King James. Now it came to pass when Jesus finished, what's this word? Commanding his 12 disciples. Yeah, it wasn't just a good idea. It wasn't just a good, you know, good teaching. No, it was a command. Jesus commands obedience. He's worthy. He's worthy to ask, command, really, your obedience. When he finished commanding his 12 disciples, he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who's not offended because of me. As they departed, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, what did you go out into the wilderness to see? A, man, a reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in king's houses. Yeah, we got a lot of those in the body of Christ today, by the way. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it's written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. Praise God. That's Malachi 3.1. Jesus quoting the Old Testament. Verse 11, then we're in chapter 11. Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of women, there's not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take it by force. Cross-reference, 1 Thessalonians 4, 17, Luke 16, 16. Great teaching there. Yeah, this is not for wimps. This is for people that are bold in Christ. You and me. Verse 13. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you're willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. There he again, he's citing Malachi 4, 5. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. But to what shall I liken this generation? It's like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to their companions and saying, we played the flute for you and you didn't dance. We mourned for you and you did not lament. Yeah, maybe it's kind of like today's generation. We have people playing on the internet and playing and gambling and doing all kinds of minor stuff. The Lord is calling you and me to fulfill the calling he has on your life, a life purpose to follow him. We are the John the Baptist generation. We are the repentance remnant. Yeah. Verse 18, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a wine bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is justified by her children. Verse 20, then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done because they didn't, what? Repent. 
put the name of your city here. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works were, were done with in you, have been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say to you, it'll be more tolerable for Tyre and, and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. Hello. And you, Capernaum, that was, by the way, one of his close towns. I mean, he never had a official place to sleep. It says even foxholes have holes. He didn't have one. But was he often in Capernaum? Yes, he was right on the Sea of Galilee. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. A nation that turns its back on God faces judgment. It's that simple. We have to turn and repent. Second Chronicles 7, 14 has four things we have to do before he will hear from heaven, forgive sin, and heal the land. You and I have to humble ourselves, pray, seek his face, and turn from our wicked ways, our sinful patterns, which compared to his are wicked. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all were born into a condition as children of wrath. We need to repent every day. Verse 25, at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you've hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Well, that would be you and me. We have to, we are called to share the truth. Repent. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal him. Verse 28, this beautiful verse for you to use every day. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Can you fight a spiritual battle and get rest? Yes, you can at the very same time. This is the one who slept in the boat on the Sea of Galilee in the storm when the others thought they were drowning. Yes, you can do both. Verse 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I'm gentle and lowly in heart. Humble, humble, gentle, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, give us a hunger for your word, a hunger to be with our Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Christ, whew, whose yoke is easy. He's calling us to go into the world and bring many into the kingdom, bring all into the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.